Hello, my name is Vince, and welcome to uh, my tutorial here uh, on um, what is known as topology. There is a lot of videos I've seen them online to where they will tell you what topology is and stuff like that. Topology is if you wanted to create a character uh, for a video game, movie, whatever, um, each one will have to go with uh, a good edge flow. And um, what that means pretty much is your model's going to have to follow along the edge of your uh, mesh or your, um, uh, what is it called, muscle structure. And um, that's what topology is. A good topology, you can deform the, the mesh very well. So we're just going to jump right in and go into this uh, tutorial. Just by hitting A twice on the keyboard to select everything, hit X and enter then it removes everything. Hit N on the keyboard and it brings up this menu. Uh, we'll, we'll choose a background image. Uh, we'll open up a, a human head reference. You could use any human head reference um, for this um, for this part of the tutorial. But anyways, let me grab my grease pencil here. Um, new grease pencil. Uh, we'll do it with the uh, center of the cursor here, uh, so default. We'll do, uh, we'll change the, well, let me see here, new layer, there we go. Uh, we're going to make this a little bit thicker, um, x-rays fine. I'm going to make it more of a red color uh, so that, you, you know, you guys can see it better. All right, so pretty much. What, what we mean by good edge flow is if you look at the face, look at the human head here, you see it's very much curved um, all the way around. And uh, that's because we need to follow along good edge flow. Now with this, with this particular model that I'm using, or this human here, uh, female, is if you notice the camera is actually either tilted or her shoulders are at a different angle. Um, which I would not use this to model the her body probably, but uh, we're gonna start, and I'm gonna show you what uh, what what guidelines you gotta fall for your topology. First off, by hitting D on the keyboard, um, you would hit um, you would actually go around here. This is if you created it, created it with a plane, so you would go all the way around, right? Uh, that. You know, that, that's when you create it with a plane, you just follow basically this around. The next edge loop that you should add will be up here. And bring it down in here at the bottom of the chin. And remind reminder too is I'm only doing a half uh, circle, but you would add in what is known as a mirror modifier to do the other half at the same time. The next one will be around the eyes. Um next one around the nose about right here um, then you would add one from the bridge of the nose in between these two and around uh, to here next one be of course around the lips um, the next one will go from the neck down here toward the back of the neck and around to the back of the head area um, then basically it'll f uh, then you would extrude um, this section on up to the top of the head. Um, oh yeah, and then uh, you would have uh, another uh, loop here for the nostrils. Um, and I think that might be about it. Uh, you will have one like, uh, you could have one if you want around the neck here. Um, and stuff like that to create your general um, design on your edge flow and and keeping everything consistent. Now we're gonna hit uh, D and we're gonna whoops, that was my fault. We're gonna hit D and right click and just delete all this um, because I'm not done just yet. But we're gonna go over this one more time and this time I'm, I'm gonna show you how to um, do these a little bit. Let's delete them. By the way, I'm hitting D and right mouse clicking to remove all these. All right, then you will hit D on the keyboard and just uh, draw like right here between the eyes and around. 
okay this is your first loop um, that you would want to do second loop you could do the eyes which uh, that's actually what I would recommend is doing the eyes as your second loop third loop I would take it from the bridge of the nose here and down past the mouth and at the bottom of the chin second one will be at the top, tip of the mouth and around all right next one will be from here and around next one will be from here and around all right next one will be from the, about the tip of the forehead here and bring it around around the ear and down to the bottom of the chin all right now that's that's pretty much um, what what it would be about and pretty much always keep your even vertices because these vertices here will be connected like this you know all the way around um, these vertices here will be connected um, so these vertices will be connected here um, these verts will be connected here um, alright and so on these will be connected down here um, these will be connected and it, it'll be like that uh, whoops um, god dang it sorry I'm hitting like the wrong button here these will all be connected um, all the way around I'm just showing you what how it would be connected um, these will be connected um, these here would be um, so on it, you know you get the general idea of what it would look like and it would kinda look like this um, but remember you know you got this half over here that would be exactly the same as this so we, what we would do is like if we would actually create a plane by hitting shift a plane let's rotate it towards me um, so be I think X 90 yep um, then what you would do is split this plane in like half by hitting control R then right clicking and it splits it in half um, select these two planes by hitting B box select and select these then hit X then delete vertices it gives you basically a half of a um, plane then you, what you do is go up here to this wrench hit modifiers and go down to uh, mirror modifier and it puts an exact duplicate on the other side do clipping in the center and then you would scale it down I'm not modeling the human head but I, I'm just giving you a rough idea of what it looks would look like um, and you know you would take this for an example then extrude it out and rotate and take this extrude it down so forth and so forth and so forth up until you get the general shape of the mesh since nothing's lined up um, my image here in the background's not lined up I don't have anything lined up so it's not gonna work right but this is not a modeling tutorial it's just a topology tutorial but uh hope you enjoy it that's that's the general topology on a human face and the um in a way of doing it you know easier uh, your grease pencil is your best friend uh, when it comes to um, modeling the human face um, because you can actually set out your lines of where you're wanting to draw your uh, mesh so but thanks a lot I appreciate it um, I'm not feeling all that well so that's why I'm kind of sniffling a little bit and stuff like that but uh thanks a lot and i appreciate your time but that's my first tutorial tutorial on blender um but i appreciate it thank you